Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And in this video I'm going to try to improve some of my old pictures with a brand new app called Topaz Photo AI. And I'm also going to compare this Lumix GX880 to my Sony A7 IV. It's not going to be a camera comparison of course, but more like an image quality comparison. I want to see if photo AI can make the picture from this camera look as good as the picture from my Sony a7 IV that I'm using to film this video. The rest of these pictures are some personal memories from the past when I was traveling and uh, some of these pictures have some technical issues. And of course with pictures like this, personal memories, the image quality is not the most important thing but I'd like to print some of these pictures slightly bigger than a postcard and for that purpose I want to see if I can improve the image quality just a little bit. And without any further ado, here's the first picture that I want to improve. This is a picture that I shot in Western Australia back in 2018, February 2018 to be exact. And it's a nice memory, but it's also a nice photo. I like it a lot. I like the white sand, blue sky and those white uh, trucks, 4x4s parked up there and the people also, uh, those tiny people, they all look really nice. But their picture has some issues. It's not quite sharp and it's also quite noisy. And um, I hope Photo AI can uh, improve this picture. I'm gonna use the Lightroom plugin, but Photo AI also works as a standalone app like all Topaz uh, apps. And I'm gonna choose edit, a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Um, it's gonna take a second to open the file. And uh, the idea of this application is that it should uh, do everything automatically and it should make image editing very easy. And this app should be especially good for uh, removing noise, sharpening and also upscaling. And it looks like uh, the automatic settings work really well. I'm gonna zoom to 200% to see the difference better. Let's move the slider, see uh, before and after. I think Photo AI does a really neat job here. All the noise is uh, gone, but none of the details are gone. And the picture looks so much better after photo AI treatment. And I did not do anything manually. I just let the photo AI work its magic and it really seems to work. I'm gonna save this back to Lightroom and it's gonna be a TIFF file, of course. And that's one of my complaints with all these uh, plugins that they can't edit raw files. But I recently read somewhere that it's a Lightroom problem, that Lightroom does not allow plugins to edit raw files. Um, but I don't know if that is true or not. But anyway, it did a really nice job and uh, the end result is really good. And this is going to print real nice even uh, up to, I'd say, A3 or even A2 size. Right now, the only way to get photo AI beta is to buy all Topaz apps like I did. I bought the Topaz Denoise, Gigapixel and Sharpen and I got photo AI as freebie on top of that. But like I said, it's going to be available next month as um, a standalone app too. And I'm going to put a link down below. It's an affiliate link for Topaz apps. I know some of you don't approve affiliate links, but if I don't put a link down there, some of you are going to request it later. So if you don't like affiliate links, don't use the link, but if you like it, use it and support my channel at the same time. Let's move to the next picture. This one is a photo of me, as you can see, in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, at the, one of those places they call markets. I'm having some sort of a fruit smoothie there and I like this picture a lot. It's a very nice memory, but as you can see, uh, it has some issues. It's not sharp. I think the focus is off and it also has some camera shake. 
So let's see what Photo AI can do with this picture. This is a little bit tougher challenge than the previous picture. Again, I'm gonna use the plugin, Lightroom plugin, but AI, Photo AI works also as a standalone app. And here it is, I'm gonna blow it up to 200% so we can see clearly uh, how it improved. And um, it's quite apparent that uh, all the noise is gone, of course, my face looks much nicer, <laughs> as nice as it can look, but it also looks uh, quite a lot sharper. And um, I'm pretty impressed with this uh, result. And also the background looks uh, a little bit sharper and also all the noise is gone. And I have to say I'm impressed with this result. I didn't expect uh, this kind of improvement at all. I'm going to save this also to Lightroom so I can maybe print it later or just uh, admire that much cleaner result. It really looks a lot better. And here's my third picture. This is a landscape from New Zealand back in 2017, January, and uh, not the December 2017 to be exact. This is a phone camera picture. I like this picture a lot. I'm not a landscape shooter, but I like this picture a lot and uh, it's not too bad technically but um, it still has some noise especially in those dark areas and uh, I wish it was a little bit sharper for printing purposes. So let's see uh, what the photo AI can do again. I'm gonna blow it up 200% to see the before and after a little bit better. In this picture, the improvement is not that dramatic as it was in those previous pictures, but also this picture was a lot uh, better uh, as a starting point. But I can still see the um, improvement. There is a lot less noise in those dark areas and uh, it also looks quite a bit sharper and I think now it's going to print a lot better. Again, I have to be impressed with this result and uh, photo AI seems to work really well. And I did not do anything manually. I just let photo AI work its magic all automatic without hardly any extra work. And now let's compare the picture from this Lumix GX880 to a picture from my Sony a7 IV. This is going to be very interesting. And this is the scenery from my office window. There's some construction going on on the other side of the courtyard. This is the picture from my Sony shot on the Sony 40 millimeter f2.5 G uh, lens. And this is the picture from my Lumix GX880 and the lens was the Lumix 20 millimeter f 1.7, which is a very, very sharp lens. As you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison, the framing is not the same. And of course the aspect ratio is not the same. And even the colors and tonality are not exactly the same. So first I'm going to fine tune the Lumix picture a little bit in Lightroom. And here is the Lumix picture after some fine tuning. And if we compare them now side by side, they are almost exactly the same. I could not make them match any better than this. The tonality, uh, colors and everything, they are as uh, close as I could uh, make them. Let's first compare these pictures in Lightroom and it's quite obvious that the Sony picture has much more detail because it's so much bigger file. After my fine tuning and cropping, the Lumix picture is about 13 megapixels and the Sony picture is of course about 33 megapixels. Almost three times the pixel count of the uh, cropped Lumix picture. The Lumix picture also has more noise, especially in the shadow areas, but both pictures look really sharp and um, otherwise technically quite good. Now I'm going to run the Lumix picture through Photo AI and I'm going to upscale it to the same size as the Sony picture and then we can compare them again side by side. 
and I'm going to let Photo AI work its automatic uh, magic again and I'm not gonna do anything manually. Except for the width, I'm gonna set it exactly the same as the Sony picture which is 7008 pixels. And here they are side by side in Lightroom, exactly the same dimensions. Except that the Lumix picture actually is one pixel taller than the Sony picture but that uh, doesn't uh, mean anything in real life. And now let's uh, zoom in 200%. First of all, the sharpness looks really good in the Lumix picture and also all the noise is gone and uh, it looks really, really good. But now if I compare it to the Sony picture, I can see right away that the Sony picture still has a lot more detail because Photo AI could not create some detail that was not there to begin with in the Lumix picture. For example, these uh, blinds or shades in the windows. In the Sony picture, I can see those individual uh, blades in the shades um, clearly. But in the Lumix picture, the same area is just flat like a regular blind or curtain or whatever. The Sony picture also has some moiré in some areas. And of course the Lumix picture does not have that because the sensor and lens combo could not create any more. And I guess that could be seen as an upside in some situations at least. I have to say I'm super impressed how well Photo AI upscaled that 13 megapixel micro four thirds file to about 33 megapixels. It's quite obvious that uh, the picture, upscaled picture, is not quite as detailed as the Sony picture, but it still looks very, very good. And it makes me think that Photo AI is a really viable option for the high res mode on some cameras. Because the high res mode has some limitations, it's going to slow down your camera, it can also create some uh, funny ghosts if there are moving elements in the picture and um, it's just not very practical in many situations. And of course with the high res mode you have to decide uh, whether you want the big file or not before you hit the shutter. With Photo AI or any similar application you can upscale any picture uh, in post if you all of a sudden need uh, an upscaled version of uh, a picture. That's also going to save you some space on your hard drive because the original files are smaller. It looks like Photo AI works really well, especially if you have some poorly executed pictures like the ones I showed you earlier in this video. It works miracles with those pictures and it can save pictures that uh, look beyond recovery. Also, if you have a small sensor camera like this Lumix GX880 and you occasionally need to blow up your pictures for printing or for some other purposes, Photo AI works well for that too and you don't have to buy a big sensor, high megapixel expensive camera for that. And like I said earlier in this video, the final version of Photo AI is going to be available next month, September 2022. And I'm going to put uh, an affiliate link down below. So if you intend to buy any Topaz apps, please use the link and you will support my channel at the same time. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.